if that worked. I'm not sure if that worked. Come on, Stinkos. I'm just waiting. Good afternoon, morning there, Von Stinky. I still don't see anything. You're on. You might have to refresh. Okay. Right. What are we going to do today, Puda? I have no idea, but we're doing it. Well, say hello to the audience. Hello, audience. <laughs> Someone's got to have some energy today because it's not going to be me. We're going to be talking about, finally I'll talk about an actual YouTuber, Nikado what? Avocado. Nikocado? I don't even know how to say his name. I'm just saying Nikocado Avocado. I think that's right. Okay. And about his mukbang disasters. Oh, he's a disaster he is. And that's it. I'm done. I'm not going to say anything else from here on in. It's all on you now. Let me figure this game out. Is this game for Chinese New Year? Happy Chinese New Year. How do you say that? Gong Hei Fet Toi, Gong Si Fai Ta, Chuk Mong Nam Moi, and one more. What? I said it in Mandarin, Cantonese, Vietnamese. I don't know, but in my country, we usually say, Xin Jie Yu Yi, Xin Ni Hua Chai. Whoa, that's a long one. That year, Tuo Tuo Kai. That sounded <laughs> Japanese? No, that Korean? means the red letters. Oh, envelope. The red Come envelope. Come on, let red envelope. I call it Ang Pao. <laughs> Yeah, we call it Ang Pao too. Well, there you go. But some of us call it Da Ia. Da Ia. Yeah. Different kind of Chinese. And think, do but you, I don't know what it is. Do you get money in it? Is that yep. what the, the dealio is? Yep. Well, there you go. I'm going to leave you for a moment. Hey, I still don't know what I'm doing. You know what you're doing. Commentary. Uh, okay. Looks like... Oh, what's that? I better not... Oop. Keep eating. And what's this? Can I eat it? Yes. Choop, 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 choop. I have to keep eating. Looks like. And then what? Whoa. Fast star discover. What does that mean? Oh. Eat more. I know. Where are they? To eat. And what is this? Starving. Alright. This kind of remind me of the chat game. Oh! That's right. It was actually suggested by Kane. He said it's just like hungry sharks except for dragons. Then keep eating. That's right. This is where I think I've told you about Nikado. Nikikado? I can't say his Avocado? name. Avocado? Yeah, that dude. What? He's in a in a trap at the moment, a very unhealthy and I would say dangerous trap, really. That he's doing these mukbang videos, but not eating healthy food, and eating ridiculous amounts of like McDonald's and noodles, two-minute noodles with cheese, with his uh, partner, and they've gotten very large over the past four years or so, and gained a huge amount of weight. Very unhealthy for One of them? Yeah, although the Nikocado is far worse than the other guy. Well, Hang on, partner means girlfriend or... Well, boyfriend, boyfriend, husband and... I don't know if they call themselves husband and wife or husband and husband. But apparently they are married. Oh, so they are a gay couple? Yes. So they started off... I think they were both vegan okay. to begin with. They met... As that vegans. is a lot of change. It is a huge change to go from that to eating copious amounts of meat and amongst other things, lots of carbohydrates, just very unhealthy stuff. And to be honest, it's a bit scary that, um, you know, there's a chance that he might not survive what he's doing. But what do you do if you're pulling in the views and making the money and that's how you do it? It's, I suppose it's very difficult to stop, isn't it? 
And then they have drama on top of that. You know how we love the drama. Stinky loves the drama, don't you, Stinky? No comment. That's because you have all of the drama at home. Oh, I'm eating the sheep. So the sheep. Whoa, what's this? My better not. And apologies for anyone that does watch this today. We might cut the stream much shorter than usual because you and I are struggling at the moment, aren't we, Stink? Ooh. You don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about your sleeping pattern switching over, mm. which has made my sleeping pattern switch over. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, well, I end up being on your body clock rather than mine. So it's difficult to, to get that But isn't that sleep. always like that for you? <laughs> yeah, well, that's right. So what would you do if you were Nika, Nika, Nika Cardo, Nico Cardo, Avocado YouTuber, or YouTube? You know, he's a quite an accomplished violinist too. He plays the violin. He used to do that in his early days. Not so much anymore. And he once was pretty skinny. Like, believe it or not, we're talking skinny like you. Mm -hmm. uh, he's just blown out to sure? more than 300 pounds or something like that. Oh, yes, and if you find out how to get uh, Hungry Dragons, how to get baby eggs. Baby eggs? Yeah, I think that's part of this game. I'm not too sure I, 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 I. what the story is. And also whether it's offline or not, because you've played these type of games before with other people. Although this one does look a bit different, doesn't it? I like the graphics of that. Good suggestion, Kane, if he ever shows up. <laughs> You're going to do a how to play yep. Hungry Dragons. And we'll see if you can get all dragons. Alright, so I'm done with the commentary. I said that before. I've got absolutely nothing in me today. And for the moment, we're just talking to ourselves anyway, Stinky. So am, I, like it. am I still taking you up on uh, what it is that you are going to huh? to eat for lunch today? Red December's here. She's watching the ads. So Hello. I'll, I'll have to ask her when she's finished. Can She wouldn't be able to hear us talking, uh -oh. I guess, while you're watching the ads. I assume that's how it works, isn't it? She's so supportive. We love Red December. Mm, thank you. Don't we? Love all the DLG, really. And so happy when anyone shows up. And today, no one, maybe no one will show up. We started so late. And for mm -hmm. once, I'll take responsibility for that. Right. Thank, thank you for waking me up, Stinky. Because, in all honesty, I was not going to do it today. Oh. I set the alarm and I'm like, no, I'm not going to get up. If Stinky doesn't wake up, I'm not waking up. That's right. how deflated I am. Completely deflated, Stinky. I actually had other plans for the, the stream today, but uh, it was ah. all very rushed. It was to play a different game and have a completely different topic. But I just didn't have the the energy and the foresight to do it today. So keep it nice and simple. You talk about drama. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So well, I've got to ask, what are your views on that? If you happen to, this is more of a general question. If you happen to see someone on YouTube, a creator, that's doing content that's not good for them or it's not good for their health, whether it be physical or mental, what do you think should happen in that instance? Well, I understand you're busy concentrating with the it, game, but I'm also... Ooh, what's that? The... Flying rabbit! Flying rabbit! What? <laughs> uh, how long ago? No, the stream only started uh, recently, Red December. So, it's, sorry, it's uh, Uncle Pudot's fault that uh, he slept in. I slept in. Why do I keep speaking in the third person? And uh, we, we're having a little bit of difficulty at the moment just with our sleeping pattern because Stink Pants is doing night shift at the moment. So... And she's kind of got me to be on the same... Well, you haven't got me, but I've just ended up being on the same sleeping pattern. So it's very difficult to, to even be awake at this time. And Aesthetic Ocean's here. Hello, how are you? Hello. So I think they both missed the, the initial topic, which was to talk about 
I can't even say his name. Nicardo, <laughs> Nicardo, Avocado. First time talking about an actual YouTuber. Because I'm concerned for the guy. You know, you don't want anyone to, to suffer in life. And I think on some level, the guy might be suffering a bit just because of what he has to do. Uh, water! We've got a water from Aesthetic Ocean. Uh, we're both good, but um, just very... I don't know how tired you are, Stinky, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> I am. See? You asked me why I'm not going to bed yet, and now you're the one who suffer. Yeah, what time did you go to bed last night? It 3 a.m. Yeah, and then I went to bed at 6 or 7 this morning. That's even worse, right? You should go to bed same time as me. That's right. Uh, oh, Red December said that she just got in from a dog walk. Oh, here we go. Minus awesome. 30. Stinky. Okay. I don't know how you could survive that. I don't think you could. And how are you, Aesthetic Ocean and Red December? Uh, aside from being somewhat chilly or very chilly where you are, uh, hopefully it's a little bit warmer for Aesthetic Ocean. So, I don't know what you'd do. You wouldn't be able to rug up enough, would you? There wouldn't be enough clothing oh, in the world. <laughs> do you get bigger as you keep playing? Is that should the... be, that should be, but I have no idea. There you go. I like the graphics of this one. It's quite good. Oh, well, Aesthetic Ocean's on our time too. Went to bed at like 3 a.m. What were you doing up so late? Why is everyone staying up in the middle of the night these days? Uh, and heads up to Red December, there is a new members only uh, video. And I did mention it a couple of times, but I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't realize I could change uh, some of the audio. Excuse me, I'm hiccuping already. <laughs> I could alter the audio a bit to make it sound at least a little bit better. I'm still not going to say it's great, but Stinky listened to it last night. It helped with that. Ooh. And Aesthetic says it's quite cold there as well. I was texting my bestie and they were up at 3 a.m. as well. What? My goodness, that must have been quite a conversation. Tell us all about it if you're comfortable. Otherwise, don't say anything because we don't want to pry. I like prying. It's You're like, the... like drama. You just like drama. Oh, well, hopefully she didn't have any drama with her bestie. We don't want that. I'm talking about people leaking DMs and so on. <laughs> oh, dear. I hope no one ever does that with me, although I don't think I've said anything bad in a DM. I try to be very good. Direct message is what that means, Stinky, for the old boomers like you. Hey. Is that an ad or a game that I'm watching there? I guess an ad. That was an ad, so I can get free. I'm gonna eat you. Oh, I can't. What? Just random stuff, says Aesthetic Ocean. So that's good if you can do that. Remember the days when you wouldn't talk about important things, very specific things? I know when I speak to, for example, my relatives, it's all serious. There's, there's not too much joking around. And there's no joking around with Stinky. No joke. We were radiating chaotic energy like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Hello, Random. How are you? It's good to see you here as well. We've got off to a bit of a slow start, but good to see the DLGs have joined us now to try and entertain us. The, the cards have been reversed. We're doing no entertaining ourselves. How are you? How are we, Von Stink? Von Stinkle Pants, that's you. Jeez, I want to squeeze that thing. Don't you dare! <laughs> and how have you been, Random? Uh, hopefully, oh, well, I suppose we've got more news here as well. That uh, once again, we're in stage four of the old lockdown for a week, which is not so bad compared to, what was it, six months before? So hopefully things will get sorted. It's just unfortunate that um, it seems to all relate to the the old cough cough coming from international travellers coming home. So they, I guess they are Australian citizens for the most part. But there you go. Yeah, we do need Penguin. I'm not sure uh, if he even knows that we're streaming at the moment because we did start kind of late. 
And he's, there you go, Aesthetic Ocean's going to take up the We Are The Champions. <laughs> we get that from Penguin every week we do. And random chaotic stuff. What can you... That's the thing, Aesthetic Ocean. We love hearing new topics because old Uncle Poodot, he's starting to run out of stuff to say. February break is starting, so no school for a week. That's good. Do we... No, we're, we have school start in February, isn't it? The end of January, start of February is when school starts. I thought it's like middle of January. You know, after New Year stuff. I'm not sure. I it's already it was, started. Yeah, but we're in February now. Yeah. Well, I'm so going to say... It's not going to be that much different anyway. You don't think so? From what you say? I'm saying the end me? of January. Not not the middle of. I'm going to say towards it's, the end. Okay, that is just one or two weeks different. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Hello, oh. brain. <laughs> <laughs> The brain is not answering. The brain has closed the door, turned the lock, no longer here, Stinky. Uh, I'm not familiar with the YouTuber you talked about. What problem does he have? So this is, we'll start with the the general conversation as well, because it's not just him. There are a number of YouTubers that create content and not, not just create content, but also have it's pretty clear that they have some sort of whether it be psychological or physical problems but they're very popular and successful so even if their own audience is telling them you know you need to get help they generally don't listen now with this gentleman nikocado avocado he was i think semi-popular when he first started out he wasn't huge or anything but he was part of the, the vegan community and lived a pretty healthy lifestyle, talented violinist and so on. But since then, he's gone on to doing straight up mukbang videos on three different channels. And it's ridiculous amounts of food, unhealthy amounts of food for a, a person to consume. Unless uh, I don't know what to think of the, the professional eaters. Like that Matt Stoney guy, because he looks pretty fit and healthy, but you got a question when you put that much food in one sitting in your body, how good it is for you. And he certainly eats some junk food, but he probably eats healthily as well. I need to. Uh, so you've got that, whereas with this Nikocado Avocado guy, uh, he's eating huge amounts of very bad food. And it shows in four short years, he went from, I don't know, weights too well in pounds, but he looked very small, like maybe 130 pounds, 40 pounds, mm. to now 330 or 40 pounds. It's a huge amount of weight to gain. And he's, he's looking to, you know, maybe not live that long, dare I say it, if he doesn't change his ways soon so it is say something that so sad <laughs> how that? big is him yeah he's like 340 pounds huge what is kilo uh i would be estimating what's that maybe 160 80 kilos big boy well that's well, maybe not maybe not bad. that heavy i don't know what the conversion is um yeah, well, okay, so if we want to... How many again? Uh, I think 340. 340 pounds, so that's 154. 154. That's still not as bad. It's pretty big, though. It's pretty big, but... It's, yeah, okay, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, Red December's raised a, a good point as well. That She said that she watched an eating show where they ate a live lobster... And I want to eat that. Live, though. Oh, live? Yeah, yeah exactly. So uh, that's another thing that I understand that there are, there's cultural stuff going on, so I don't want to be insensitive. But I think, you know, human beings, if they choose to do that, try and at least do it in a non-cruel way. And that's mainly the issue I have with it. That, you know, you, you might as well cook it. 
or at least dispatch it first before you eat it. Because there is a, a very well-known... Um, I don't know what her name is, though. But, yeah, she eats a lot of live stuff for her mukbang stuff. And it's not... You know, you just think, no. I don't want to say that. Live or raw? No, live and raw. So the thing's still moving around. Nah. Yeah. It can be dangerous sometimes. You Have you seen some of the Korean squid? Live squid? Yeah, well that thing's deadly if you're not careful. Yeah, you Apparently have to put it, it you like... you got a crunchy crunch. You have to put in the, like a stick. Yeah. So your, the tentacle is not Stick to you. Yeah. your airways. But what's the point of that? <laughs> And you, you just swallow it. I mean, what's the point of that? Yeah, well, that that's right. And I've got to say, we're, we're having a bit of a... Hopefully we don't get the yellow symbol on this, but I do want to talk about these sorts of things. Red December's raised another good point that there are women on websites that are called gainers. So I've heard of this before. Let me see. All right, I'm done. I'm walking away at this point. You're on your own. How long did that go for? Not long. But long enough. Mm. Uh, <laughs> see, random head, you did stinky say the S word. Aye. I'm going to be saying a lot worse than that after the stream because stinky keeps doing things that she shouldn't do. She should know better by now after a hundred streams. <laughs> you stink. I don't know how to recover from that. <laughs> what do you got to say, Stinky? Uh, yeah. What time? What time is it in Australia? It's uh, one twelve p.m. And salam to Sukari. Oh, I'm going to struggle with this. Sukaya one two three, which I think can I say salamat apakabar? I'm not too sure what salam is. I think it's Indonesian. Let's check this. I'm just going to quickly do a translation there first. <laughs> oh, you'll be making it up for me today, you old stinky. Okay. I have limited time. You'll be doing whatever I ask you to do today after that. And did everyone else have a good Valentine's Day? Did anything happen with them? This is a family-friendly channel. That's right, Stinky. Did you know that? Family-friendly? We, Although we are talking about semi-serious Oi. stuff today. <laughs> oh, Malay. Whoops. Hang on. I got it close, but no cigar. So I'm going to have to go back there. Up, uh, what can I say? Arang... Kamu Arang Gilar. I'm talking to you, Stinky. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't have enough, my lay friend. So I rung by it. That means I'm a good person, but you're not. Well, I, having said that, the uh, Malay and Indonesians can often speak to each other. True. The languages are very similar. There's only a few words different here and there. But we'll try that again. And hopefully they're still there. They might have given up on me already. Uh, oh, it's not Valentine's Day yet for Aesthetic Ocean tomorrow. And same for Red December. So, <laughs> that's right. Red December's got dinner dates planned with their little furry friends. And are, are they actually going on dates themselves? So, there's going to be six dogs all together? Have they all got boyfriends and, and girlfriends, respectively? Unlike our kitty cat that used to have a boyfriend that she fights with now. She had a terrible fight with him this morning. No Valentine's Day for them. Um, I don't think they're still together. <laughs> Actually, if they're saying Valentine's Day is tomorrow, then that's doesn't that mean it's Valentine's Day today for us? Yes, it is. Happy Valentine's Day, stick. You're getting nothing. <laughs> Not after your little indiscretion today. Uh, I got nothing, Stink. After that, you've completely deflated me. 
deflated like a balloon that's had all its air blowing out of it. And let's face it, I'm just full of hot air anyway. And what about you? Also full of more hot air. Stinky's the hot air master. Do you have plans for Valentine's Day tomorrow, Aesthetic Ocean? Is there a certain someone we don't know about? Or random for that matter? We know the Red December is going on a doggy date. Doggy date? Yeah, like, uh, what's that famous cartoon movie? Is it 101 Dalmatians where they have that romantic dinner slurping on spaghetti? No, that is the Lady and the Tramp. Oh yeah, Lady and the Tramp, that's the one. You planning on doing that today with me, Stinky? Nope, I already ate my pasta. Wow. Uh, Aesthetics Ocean's going to tell us something sad, I think. Well, no, we'll be here to cheer her up, hopefully. I know something sad, Stinky. She's sad, aren't you? Make me sad. Oh. You talk. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. I'm going to start saying stuff I don't want to say. Yes, two dogs have dinner dates. Stardust is too young to date. Good on you for being what? a responsible parent. That's what I'm saying. If I ever had a daughter, she'd be too young to date. Period. Right. In my 90s and she'll be 60 Wish, and I'll say, Can hey, I eat my horse? No, I can't eat horse yet. No I want to eat horse. Oh, what's this? Oosh, oosh, oosh. I'm oosh. not my best friend's best friend. She has a best friend and it's what? not me. Well, that's okay though, Aesthetic Ocean, because as long as you've got uh, people that you're close to, and uh, if you maintain that friendship into your adult years, it becomes stronger over time anyway. So I've just spoken to a couple of my uh, best friends, and I don't know if I'm... Well, I know one of them where each other's best friend I'm not so sure about the other uh, but we're in it that other guy we're in a group together so maybe we just all call each other best friends I don't know speaking of which one of them is supposed to call today hopefully Ooh. not during the stream so I wouldn't worry about it aesthetic ocean you know as long as you've got those friendships happening that's the the best thing of all isn't it stinky does that would you say with your well, I've met a couple of your best friends, but is one more bestie than... We are not than... super close at the moment. Like... Well, it's hard because you're in different countries now. Yeah. But I still think you are because they catch up with you whenever you're there and uh, they stay here whenever they come here, isn't it? No, For the free accommodation. Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard of the Mandela Effect? There you go. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, we actually had that as a topic of conversation in a previous stream, oh. Aesthetic Ocean. So what can you tell us about it? Have you experienced the Mandela Effect and which one? I've gone through a couple myself and Kane got recommended mukbang. <laughs> I don't know. No, Ken. I've got to be careful with this because, you know, I've supported smaller channels that do that kind of content, but... Part of me just thinks, you know, content. <laughs> You're using that rather loosely. There are some, if, if you're watching something like, um, uh, if I watch a survival type uh, channel and they're doing the camp cooking, I don't mind watching them eat it. Not the whole, not sit there and eat the whole thing, but just tasting the food. And uh, let's face it, Good Mythical Morning, they're about the only ones I like watching eat. Because they eat strange stuff. Strange uh, stuff. No, uh, you talk for hours, Aesthetic. Because I tried to get that conversation going in a previous stream about the Mandela Effect and no one was really taking me up on it. So I've definitely experienced the the Mandela, Mandela Effect. I seem to recall when I was a younger person, young child, that... Nelson Mandela had passed away and there was a funeral on television but turns out he, he hadn't that's where it stems from hmm? where you have a false well arguably a false memory I don't know there's something there's one that I'm absolutely convinced that there's either been a time warp or we're in a 
parallel universe because I distinctly remember it so strongly that no one can tell me otherwise. And this is the there's a James Bond movie where you've got the the um, character Jaws who plays like an arch nemesis. He's one of the bad guys, and he falls bad in guy. he falls in love with this girl because they smile at each other. And he's got these big metal teeth, which is why he's called Jaws. I think the movie's called Moonraker. Hang on, I thought you're talking about Jaw, the movie. No, no, no. So he's the character's name is Jaws, and he smiles at this girl, and she smiles back, and she's wearing braces. I remember it. I remember laughing about it and thinking that was perfect. And it turns out no, it never happened. Or the Monopoly guy wearing a monocle. I remember that too. And apparently, no. He doesn't wear a monocle. Mandela effect. There you go. Uh, the list goes on. I want to hear some of this list. Oh, and Red December didn't know the Mandela effect. So, to explain it, it's what I said before. That Nelson Mandela, a lot of people remember that he passed away back in the 80s. And they'll say they even saw news... Uh, reports on it. Well, it turns out that he didn't. He passed away, what, in the 2000s? I don't know when he passed away, but it wasn't the 80s. It was much, much later than that. So that's where the name, the Mandela Effect, comes from. (coughs) And there's plenty of examples. Like I said, some people might think that the Monopoly guy wears a monocle, but he doesn't. There's the Jaws, uh, the Moonraker movie, where I remember the girl wearing braces and she didn't. Um, there, there are so many examples. I did some research on it at one point, but now my memory is a little bit hazy. You know how it is. Mm-hmm. They got so many terms so for like, I don't know, this kind of thing. I, well, li- lately, I just saw there is some um, term for, you know, when you see something and you think it's like human or animal when it's not. Oh, really? Right? That one's new to me. And it's different from deja vu, which is another thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think what right. were these these examples, because there were quite a few of them. Just bear with me. Oh, I, oh lucky. Oh, lucky nothing in there. Too many cups here. Why don't you just... You can't turn it back on me after what you've done today. Yep, I can. No, you can't. <laughs> And just bear with me, just doing a tiny bit of research here. We'll see what comes up. Hopefully, uh, Aesthetic Ocean will come up with a few things while I'm waiting for that to load up. It's quite slow at the moment. Yeah, I don't know why the, the internet's behaving so slowly these days. Oh, yeah, that, that's another one that uh, Aesthetic Ocean said the Berenstein or Berenstein bears. Oh, which reminds me of another one, Smokey the Bear. It's not Smokey the Bear, it's just Smokey Bear. And Curious George never had a tail, that's true too. You know, Curious George the monkey stink? No. So these are all examples of where people have a... I don't want to call it a false memory because sometimes you... If you've... If you've been exposed to it, you will swear black and blue. No, that's not true. I remember. But then again, I was arguing this with a friend of mine and he said, no, it's all false memories. Your psychology is often out of whack. Not saying me personally, just people. You. All right, me (laughs) personally too. Well, there you go. So Random might have experienced that where he says, what, he doesn't have a tail? And there's another one, the the movie called Shazam about a genie starring Sinbad, which never happened. But there was a similar movie with Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. And uh, maybe that's what people are getting confused with. So there you go. Great examples. You've got Aesthetic Ocean. These are some of the very uh, well-known ones. Uh, There is never a... Jiffy peanut butter. I don't know what that one was. Oh, Jiff, but not Jiffy. Well, we call Jiff's a cleaning product here, isn't it? Yeah. So you wouldn't want uh, Jiff peanut butter. Not here anyway. 
wouldn't taste very good. Might clean your insides out though. Uh, doesn't sound great. <laughs> yeah, well, that's right. So I take it you've never experienced the Mandela effect? Mm, no. Nope. That you can think of? Have you ever had something in your life where you swear that that would have happened but it didn't? Mm, no, nope. not really. You're just living in the real world, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not cross the path. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crossing the mirror either. You guess what? Your name really is Stink Pants and your arch nemesis really is Boot Yeah. Yeah. That's the fact. Oh. No Mandela effect. She's still coming up with awesome examples. We <laughs> I don't even know if we've got Cheez Its here, but Kit Kat's another one. Is it Kit hyphen cat or just Kit Kat? Kit Kat. You're talking about Hang our on. Kit Kat. Uh, I don't know if it's go. different from like countries. I don't. I at one point when I was young, I really liked Kit Kat, but then I get bored of it and never go back to it again for some reason. Yeah, you do. You no, eat my. I don't. You eat my Kit Kats whenever I have them. And there's one of the really famous ones that in Star Wars, Darth Vader never says, Luke, I am your father. Did you know that one? No, I didn't watch it in English. So what did they say in your language? Luke, I am your father? Yeah, how, something like that. I can't remember. It's more than a decade ago. Yeah, uh, from memory, Aesthetic Ocean, the, the actual line is no. I am your father. Let's see if I've got that right. I might even come up with that research if that... Oh, wow, there's 44 examples there. Jiffy peanut butter, the fruit of the loom label. Some of these, I think, are very uh, perhaps American or English because we don't see a lot of them. Do you know what I mean? If we don't have the products here... So I don't know what Fruit of the Loom is, but the, the label people remember as being very different from what it is. I'm not quite understand what you're talking about. <laughs> well, it's like the Monopoly guy having a monocle. Uh -huh. okay. I remember that, but he doesn't, doesn't have one. So for the Fruit of the Loom, it's their logo. People remember it as being different from what it is. Okay, I don't play Monopoly. Oh, you played it once. Once, yeah. <laughs> With you, and that's about it. Oh yeah, there's also the Flintstones. You used to watch that, right? I guess so, but it's on Cartoon Network in the past. And... Is, it, is it the Flintstones or the Flintstones? Flint. Oh, you knew that. What? I always remembered it as the Flintstones, without ah. the T. With T? Yeah, see, you've got it right. Whereas... Yeah, see, I'm in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you were, <laughs> and, you know, but welcome to my world. Well, i got to say I'm Australian too, and we're lazy with the pronunciations. See, you're not going to pronounce the T anyway, probably. Ah, the Flintstones. But it's Flint, which makes sense because, you know, back in the, the uh, what do you call it? I don't want to say Ice Age. What's the age? I don't know what you're talking about. Caveman Age. Okay. Back in those days, they needed Flint to start fires. Oh, and another big one is, uh, uh, what is it, Looney Tunes? Is it Looney Tunes or Looney Tunes? Looney Tune. My goodness. You are, hang on, wrong. But I actually never really watched this one. Yeah, you're wrong. It's Looney Tunes. Okay. As, a, as opposed to, everyone thinks it makes more sense. Looney Tunes, cartoons. But it's tunes as in the music. Okay. But... 
You don't live in the real world anymore. I have an excuse though. I didn't watch it in English. And That's it's gonna like be... tune and tune, like U N E and double O N. It sounds the same for me. You're gonna use that for every excuse. Yep. <laughs> I'm still in the real world. <laughs> Just different language, <laughs> different accent. Ah, oh, that's funny. Ah, uh, C C three PO had a sil- silver leg. That's one that I can't even remember. I just assume he was all gold. Awesome pug. He's, I think Awesome is one of the the Star Wars experts. We have a few Star Wars experts. Yeah, there you go. So she just said Looney Tunes or Looney Tunes. I remember the fruit of the... Oh, well, there you go. So Red December saying, I remember the fruit of a loom with fruit logo uh, for undergarments. Now, this one I don't know because we don't have this brand here or if we do, I've never seen it. Uh, and maybe Aesthetic Ocean can say, yeah, you're right or no, you've suffered the Mandela effect there. Um... I think I'm in a good hell enough. <laughs> You're not in good health whatsoever. Your mind is askew. Hello, a big hug for everyone. Sergio Dentis is here. Thank you for the big hug. How are you and uh, how are things in your neck of the woods? We're talking about the Mandela effect at the moment. Getting some clarification. See, a lot of the examples that Aesthetic Ocean is giving relate to brands so maybe that's it we're just not that good at remembering it might be just you know marketing brand oh what's this what was that it's you taking on everything there stinky come on faster Uh, the more aesthetic Asians looking into the Man- Mandela effect, the more confused she's getting. And there, there you go. I remember Pikachu with a black tail, but apparently he doesn't have one. A black tip on his tail. Did you know that? I don't watch Pikachu either. Double stuff Oreos or double stuff Oreos? You're an Oreo eater. But we don't even have double stuff here, do we? What do you mean double stuff? I guess it's twice the cream. Oh, uh, that's too much. I don't think I'm going to like it. Do you pull them apart? You don't, do you? People have different ways of eating things. Some people would twist that Oreo and lick the cream out first. Yep. You do do that? Um, I tend to just eat it together because I find it's... Too, uh, too bitter. It, what it, the it chocolate separate. on its own? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I'd agree with that. I pull apart my Big Macs. I'll always do that. Not that we get McDonald's anymore, but if we did, I'd eat half a Big Mac and then the other half. It's a habit I've had for my life. Oh yeah, mirror mirror on the wall never happened. What you know the- that one? What? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? That's where how I remember it. Apparently, that's not what was said. Okay. What does it say? Uh... Uh, you don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> See, she's giving the exact uh, aesthetic ocean. You got to give us the the example plus the the real answers so that we don't get confused otherwise I'm just going to continue believing the wrong thing isn't it Sting ooh I'm going I don't know out of space now that's right you keep flying as high as you can Stinky and keep up the commentary because daddy wants to sleep oi 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 Oh, you are in space now. How does that work? I don't know. <laughs> this is game. Is it a huge uh, map, for lack of a better thing? Probably. It's pretty hard to go up, by the way. Well, you're doing well. 
Ooh, ah, ah. I gotta say, I love the graphics on that thing. Where is the location of Cinderella Disney World Castle? That I don't know. We've never. Is that something you would want to do? You think you go to Disney World? Yeah. One, two. And I... is is there somewhere where you would prefer to go? Like is the the, the big Amer- one? Well, the know. Americans might be able to tell us, but I think Anaheim isn't that the original. Wherever Anaheim is is where the original Disney is. I don't care about original, new or whatever. I just want the big one. The biggest one. (laughs) This is the one where you end up staying. Because I'll say, you get a hotel room. It takes you a month to go through all of that stuff. Oh, I don't have to play everything. (laughs) If it's something like, you know, to baby, baby ride. I'm going to skip that. We're doing the baby rides. You're doing it. You know what I like the the roller coasters? They scare me. Yeah, it's good. That G-force thing happening. I wonder. Your stomach in your throat. I don't understand why people like that. How Give is the that a adrenaline rush? How is it a good rush. feeling though? To feel but that. It's like you kind of feel like um, uh, less gravity bound or something like that. Not, it's not the same as when you're in the pool because that one you kind of safe, right? You feel more safer that way, not falling. Yeah, there you go. Swim in a pool, you get the a better effect of floatiness. Yeah, poor... but this one is like fast, go on here and go there. <laughs> Just like when you on the bike and you would you compare when you riding a bike and walking. It's just different. It's both pleasurable in a way, but yeah. Which one has more adrenaline rush? Can't be walking. As opposed to riding, you're saying? Yep. Yeah, I suppose you make a fair point there. Poor old aesthetic Asians going crazy thinking about all the Mandela effects. There's so many of them out there. We're living in an alternate universe, Stinky. That's what it is. You're just a brain in a oh. jar on Mars. Who keep attacking me? Huh? Where are you? Oh, dear. I got nothing. I'm so sleepy. And um, you want to finish faster? We, we will finish early today just because... I don't have it in me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and unless you can get Stinky to do all of the talking, I'm done. I just want to eat some food and then go back to sleep. Are you going to eat my pasta? Uh, yeah, but you also said something else yesterday. Huh? That made me think of... But we know, didn't have the cabbage. Doing the Nikocado avocado stuff. Well, what? that's not what you suggested yesterday. What? Eating healthy cabbage. Oh, Aesthetic left for a moment, but she's back. It's good to have her back. She's been the one that's been doing the bulk of the entertainment in this stream, even more than the hosts, which is good. We love it when she's uh, chatty. Isn't it stinky? Yep. Uh, You are the one who ate me right. Take that. Ra, 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 ra. (laughs) Ra. Ra. Fry rush. Dra. Come on, come on. Is this going to be another Take game? Take this. <laughs> <laughs> this. sounds like you in real life. You know that? Oh, what's this? Chili. <laughs> Does it actually have chili in the game? Yeah. <laughs> really? No wonder you've got fiery dragon breath. <laughs> <clears throat> Signature look of superiority. Oi. That's right, we... Admire Aesthetic Ocean's ability to entertain. You should have her as a guest host on so I can just sit in the background and not say anything. Stop boring the people, Stinky. And leave it up to you and Aesthetic Ocean. You reckon that'd be the way to go? And Red December, she talks a bit. Yeah, sure. But old Kane and Random, they're pretty quiet these days. 
I'm okay if you start the stream two or three hours later, says Red December. But wouldn't that be in the middle of the night for you? I would have thought that would be maybe three in the morning or something if we did that two or three hours later. We might have to change the, the stream time because are you... What's the story with you? Are you going to continue? I have no idea. I got the ship work, so it's only tell me one week in, in advance, advance or something like that. Yeah, but you're working tonight, so... You yeah, know, you're not you gonna... make me do this. Yeah, so big shout out to Stink Pants for even joining the stream today because she's going to be... Well, you're going to be awake for nearly 24 hours by the end of it. Huh? Isn't nah, it? We didn't... I'm going to have a nap during my break. Yeah. Oh, that's the best part about Stinky's job. <laughs> uh, I used to do that. Everyone can. No, no, Why? only certain jobs. There's only certain jobs when you, you can... When you had a break, you can nap. Uh, well, it actually, just depends yeah, on right. how long you got. You're right, you can do that. Oh, to be... You can do anything when you have a break. You can play a game and whatnot. I don't know what the big deal is. You know, in the past, at one of my previous jobs, the boss is really... Um, Strict? Um, manipulating, I guess. He judge everything. Like, it's my break, so I can do anything. And I'm just like, I want to play a game to relieve the oh, stress. Oh, I remember. And then he has a spy and his spy report to him what I did during my break or playing games. And he's like, ah. Oh. It shouldn't matter. It's your break, your time. You're not even getting paid for it. so. No, and he's just like, hmm. Yeah, you can do whatever so you want. What? Oh my goodness, Nature Love is here from the clan. Yay! So she made a great suggestion to do a Clash of Clans stream today, which I was almost going to do. But then, then why I, don't you do it? Well, because I realised I'd already done half the attacks. Oh. So you can't, when you're in the Legends League, you know this now, you've only got eight attacks per day. Uh-huh. So if you've already, if I've already started doing them, then it's not going to be much of a stream. So apologies, uh, Nature's Lover, that it was a she wanted me to do it so um, people could finish the the um, hog whatever it is challenge thing. Hog but challenge. if anyone knows, because it's saying that if you three star, you get the reward, but I have three star and it didn't change it at all. So I have a feeling it might have to do with a goblin map dragon thing, but I don't oh. know. But good suggestion is what I'll say, uh, Nature's Lover. I'd maybe do it. I think there's still enough time for the next stream to maybe do it. So it ah. wasn't that I was ignoring her or anything like that. It's just that once I do the attacks, it makes it almost impossible to stream Clash of Clans. Uh, so... Where were we? There's an example of Penguin's favourite song. So I'm guessing that's We Are The Champions there. I don't know what the Mandela is one there. And how are you, Nature's Lover? It's good to have you in a stream. I love it when people from the clan show up. Of course. Do you know who it is? Because I don't want to give away... Yeah, I know. Oh, you do know. Uh-huh. I've said it before. I'm still in the real world, by the way. Oh. Yeah, you are. Oosh. So, yeah... Just on that note, to finish up, uh, I was hoping, well, maybe Kane or Random or um, who else plays Clash of Clans? Nearly everyone does that joins the streams. That uh, maybe they can verify how to do that that uh, special event. You haven't tried yet, have you? No. Nope. No, but I know it's not three-starring on a raid because I've done that and it didn't work. Uh, I'm just waking up though. What time is it there, if I can ask? PVC Tires made an appearance. Good to see you as well. Another Hello. one of the DLG. Oh, and Aesthetic Ocean saying congrats on the 4.48k. Thank you. Uh, I did do a bit of hard work this week to try and build up the numbers. But who knows, usually after the streams we lose a couple and then just pick them up again. 
so it's weird how that that works uh Yes, so we've got, I've got to say the balance of power has shifted to the fairer sex now. There's probably more girls in this stream, including you, mm. than there are guys, which is unusual. Mm. Isn't it? I'm happy for that, because when I look at our analytics, it's about 30, 30% to 60% when it comes women to men, or sorry, uh, female to male. But uh, yeah, we... we love it when we get more females in the in the stream isn't it stinky because you all stick together <laughs> you gang up what on old poodle is what you do eight o'clock in the morning that is early wow <laughs> here we go it's such unusual times for everyone isn't it Late at night for half the people, very early in the morning for the other half, and in the middle of the day for us, we stream at the worst time. I have to change that. Maybe I'll just get you to do streams on your own during your work break, because you got two or three hours break, which is just incredible. <laughs> I mean, four or five hours. Nah, that's not true. The whole thing is a break. You don't do any work. Stop lying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Then again, I'm no different, am I? When I work, not work. That's the best job, kind of job to have. Who is... I was talking to someone the other day that said they were literally... They were literally being paid to do absolutely nothing. They what? still had to... They had to show up to work, but there was no work for them. So they just basically sat there for 10 hours, or well, 8 hours, eight normal 8 hour day. And then they went home and that's it. Okay. Oh, we also have three canine viewers. Well, where's the, if we've got um, Red December's canine kitties watching, why doesn't the rat bag watch? Oh. Where's the rat bag? Not watching or supporting. Too busy fighting. With the neighbourhood cat. Uh, every time I wanted to join your stream, but as it used to be on a Sunday, I used to sleep till late. And then by the time I wake up, the stream used to be finished. It does depend on um, daylight saving as well. So how does it work for Nature's Lover? If it's 8am now and daylight savings finishes when? April? May? It's all through March, I know Something that much. Something like that, so? So does it become even earlier for her? Or later? I always have trouble with this. We have to set our clocks back an hour, right? Uh-huh. So then it would be even earlier? It would be like 7 o'clock for her? Is that how that works? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Yeah. It's but too it, long time already for me to calculate this thing. And it didn't seem to make much of a difference when we had daylights or non-daylights in terms of how inconvenient it is for us, the time for us to stream for everybody else. Do you know what I mean? If we stream at the same hour, whether it's daylight or non-daylight, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference to the convenience for everyone else. We might have to change up the times a bit somewhere there. Oh, there you go. So Red December's saying it's the same for her, that she's getting paid to just basically stay at home or hold at home. And we're obviously having to do that again now where we are, just because they've gone, unfortunately, into zero stage lockdown to four. Mm -hmm. Just from zero to four. In two seconds it happened. Borders are closed again. It has been closed all the time. It's just they have a limited number, like a quota per each day. Now, didn't we we were allowed to move around interstate for a while there? Oh, I'm talking about international. So. Oh no, I'm talking about within. Uh, well, you still have New South Wales, and that's about it. That is open. Yep. So, can we still move there or not? I guess so. I didn't think we could. There you go. But why you want to move there? <laughs> oh, well, as in travel through there. Cabinets are dogs. Canine cats, cabinets are dogs. Whoop, I don't know what's going on there. Cabinets. 
Yeah, different times for everyone. It's so difficult for us to manage. It's partly because of where we actually are, nature's lover, that unless you're in New Zealand or Papua New Guinea, it's not the most convenient time for anyone. Even if uh, within Australia, if you happen to be a Western Australian supporter, it'd be really early in the morning for those guys just to, to uh, support us. Ah, there you go. So, Stinky, that's, what do you want? that's the first part. What I want is for you to do a bit of the commentary because I'm done. i got nothing. I'm running on fumes. Fumes, I'm telling you. Uh, what just happened? What? By the way, happy Valentine's Day. You both should be celebrating. Yay. Stinky. Yay. Where's my Valentine's gift? You're just going to say McDonald's, aren't you? I've been thinking about that for the past week, by the way. Why? Uh, just the Big Mac. It always gets to me. Every now and we... No, I'm not into McDonald's, sorry. Yeah, I know. You're I... not going to get sponsor from me. <laughs> I get sponsor, I'm going to grab your wallet. Yeah, we've... Uh, d I won't say boycotted, but we've made a decision that we don't go there anymore. But every now and again, you just got to have have some it's like do, do you have that feeling oh. with coke or you don't or pepsi in your case maybe that just every now and again you have to have it uh -huh. okay probably right i don't get that not with coke and pepsi anyway but mcdonald's unfortunately well there's another happy valentine's uh to you too as liana Liana. i hope i pronounced that correctly I uh, hope you had a, well, I'm not sure if you've had a good Valentine's Day yet, because for a lot of people in the stream, it's tomorrow, not today. Uh, yep, tell us about your gifts. So, what's my gift to you, Stink Pants? I'm taking you out for lunch. Uh, drive through. Uh, You're getting a drive through lunch. Uh, now, what am I getting for Valentine's Day? Uh, I'm playing this for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it's a very romantic household with arch nemesis, isn't it? Oh, this way I've never been. Oh, this is new to you too. Do you plan on selling it, celebrating it at all as Liana? I'm not sure if they're even still there. You got anything special planned? If we did the the going out for a fine dining experience you'd be struggling you know you can't do it now it's anyway. hard isn't it i'm surprised that oh yeah we can't do it now anyway not even an option <laughs> so i guess we'll be doing nothing uh every day will be valentine's day for people who are happy together so that means we never have a valentine's day stinky Bleh. <laughs> That is true. I agree with what Nature Love is saying. This is why I'm not that big on Valentine's Day. You don't need a particular day, do you, to, to show someone that you care? Oh, then you should give me gift every day. Yeah, but I don't care about you. Mm. So then no gifts. Okay. <laughs> you know that's not true. You get the gift of my presence every single day. You have the gift of my company, Stinky. There's no greater gift in the world. Okay. Well, for you anyway. Right. For anyone else, it's probably a gift to not have me there in their company. In the company. <laughs> Isn't it? That's how I make people feel better, by staying away. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, one day we'll have to put on the webcam. The 10 million subscribers special. Never going to happen. What are you talking about? Well, I keep asking face reveal, face reveal, and I keep saying when we beat PewDiePie. Oh. Never going to happen. Mm. That's going to be hard. It will be. He might retire one day before us. You say I've had enough. Don't want to do this anymore. I did see a, a uh, video last night on the various rewards you get depending on, uh, well not rewards, but various things you can unlock 
when you start having certain levels of subscribers. Yeah. But the reality is you don't get anything after 100,000. You just get those play oh. buttons. So when What? It, you only got play button? Yeah. So your first play button, you know what a play button is, right? Mm, guess so. That plaque thing that YouTube sends out to, to creators? Mm made of silver or gold or, or whatever it is plated not solid mm. you don't know what i'm talking about not really it's a like a plaque oh, that you okay, get okay okay and the first one's at a hundred thousand and by the time you have a hundred thousand subscribers it unlocks all of the features for youtube pretty much mm. so when you get a million or 10 million all you're really doing is getting the plaque at that stage so there you go. Sure. Promote the channel. Get us to the red diamond uh, plaque thing. Never going to happen. That's 100 million subscribers. You guys should plan something still. As you said, it's afternoon Aye. there. And in the evening, you can arrange something special. Well, it'd have to be at home, uh, though, nature's lover. Because we can only... Unfortunately, we can do it today. Yeah, well, Stink Pants is working as well. got to go well. to work. 12 hours cheap, so, so it's not gonna happen today, but I don't care. And you're just happy that, that we're here. I'm just waiting it? for another three years for my gym. Oh, again! <laughs> I don't know what you, you don't even remember. I remember! You, you'll remember that one. That's you, how I remember. I count down every year. Okay, five, <laughs> four, three. <laughs> We're talking about an anniversary, people, for anyone that's not aware. And for this year's anniversary, you didn't even remember. Nah, it's not the five-year mark, so, you know. You didn't even remember. <laughs> you didn't remember. You just remember this year. It doesn't make it right, yeah? Just claim it like you remember it all the time. Oh, so, <laughs> there you go. What? Uh, as Liana... Oh, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing this correctly, but as Liana, Liana says, they call it something different. It's MCO, Movement Control Order, here in place till the end of the month. So it's similar. Uh, do you have stages with that, as Liana? Is it, do you have stage one, two, three, and four like we do, or is it just straight up you can't move around? Because I know Gupla had that as, uh, sorry. Nature's Lover had that as well. That there is no movement for a long time. You guys have cute arguments. <laughs> yeah, until it gets stink pants serious. Oh, she's a she's a dragon. You're a hungry dragon when it comes to arguments, aren't you, Stinky? So yeah, we unfortunately have the severe restriction at the moment. So. I mean, all we can really do is go to the supermarket, isn't it? No, you got four reasons to leave the house, though. What are the four reasons there, Stinky? Uh, well, you can still go shopping, of course, but um, you have five kilometres restriction. Yep, so can't travel more than five k's from the home. Yeah, you can go out to work yep. for essential workers. Only essential workers. And then you got... Uh, two hours exercise So that's four. Did you say four? That's four. I can't remember what else, but you know, people who have to go to school, you know, kids from the essential workers. Ooh, this looks like a train. Hang on, does that, does that mean we can go through drive through or we can't? You can go to get the takeaway, you can dine in. Oh, so you can get takeaway though. Mm. All right, done. As long as it's in five kilometers radius, you still can. We're doing it then. Nature's lover says, "Well, I'll always see one video in which we're going to see you making omelette." Have we have we released one of our food videos yet? I don't think we have. We planned on doing it. We're still planning on doing it. Isn't it? When we have the time to, to film some of that stuff. Because uh -huh. we often get asked to, to show our cooking skills or lack <laughs> thereof. Well, that can be our next, next project. But now Pudot is working on his new project. What is it called? 
Um, we don't really have a name for it yet, but... In-game video. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I'm up to almost finished number four. Got to do number five and then we can start releasing. So I'm hoping to do that this week, but there's going to be more pressure next week, I think, because I've got to do a course. So I'm not going to have a lot of time to do anything. Isn't it? Don't give me the excuse. I see you sleeping all the time. I'm going to go to sleep soon. It looks like Aesthetic Ocean's going to sleep now. Thank you for entertaining us for as long as you did, Aesthetic Ocean. That helped make the stream great. You have a, uh, sweet dreams and a good night's sleep. Don't uh, text your friend now. You'll be up until 3 a.m. again. She you start texting her friend about the Mandela effect, they'll be up all night. <laughs> <coughs> Are you going to do a omelette, making an omelette for a video, Stinky? What do you mean, omelette We're, You're video. pretty good at making omelettes. And we have different ways of doing it. The way you make an omelette is completely different to the way you're I make You're not going to film me doing omelette, right? Yeah, why not? It's just omelette. Yeah, you're an expert. You're like the Gordon Ramsay of omelettes. Nah. The Gordonette Ramsay. Ooh. Is that... His prisoner is gonna be my food. Come here. Oh, I thought you were supposed to free the prisoner there, Stinky. That's for my food. Everything's for your food, isn't it? You walk around. It's like the now these days, which I'm grateful for. You go out into the garden and you, it's like that's food now. Stinky's got a new project at home where she's drying all our herbs. Our kitchen looks like a, a dead forest. Doesn't it? You got all of these plants hanging all over the place. But you enjoyed it last night. Get a bit of rosemary in you, it's delicious. Learn how to cook with the, the herbs that you've got in the garden. And plus the Ooh. chilies. You love that too. Food is life, says uh, nature's lover. That is true. And if you can grow a little bit of your own food, that's the best way to go. You know, there's something very satisfying about eating your own crops. Speaking of which, we're going to have to check. We're growing corn at the moment. Hopefully that will get bigger. I've never been successful with corn. Always get just one cob on each plant and it's never fully developed. I dare say it's going to be the same again this year. But Stinky's certainly been taking advantage of all of the, the food that we have finally after all of these years stinky mm. isn't it mm. and then we'll grab some worms out of the compost and go fishing no response from stinky she doesn't like worms still to this very day Meh. one day I'm going to put one in your hand let it wriggle around there for a little bit Blech. get over your fear who mostly cooks among us? Uh, I'd have to say stink. Well, did, can you say 50-50 or not? Uh, no. Would you say you cook more than I do? Yeah. All right, fine. Not by much. We just say 60-40. 60-40, we'll say. And the only reason I don't cook more is probably... Because take away. Yeah, well, and take that. away. But your food's so good. That's the thing, like you, you cook very good food and you can pretty much cook everything I can cook. So there you go. Uh, Red December asks if we have a big backyard. No, we don't have enough space. It's actually long and narrow, very narrow. So we have a sort of two side spots and the, the back spot, but it doesn't, we also have a high fence. So there's not a lot of sunlight at the back and we have to grow everything pretty much underneath the, the eaves of the house so we got to constantly water as well because when it rains it doesn't really get wet there but you're only talking maybe uh what a meter and a half would that be fair to say it's only about a meter and a half wide maybe two no it wouldn't be two meters so yeah, very narrow, unfortunately. We, we wish we had more space. And once you have established plants as well, they take up a lot of space. Like the rosemary bushes, not fully grown, but probably as, 
uh, well, you cut it back. It would be as wide as it could be if you didn't cut it back. So it limits the stuff. Plus, we've got a curry plant there that we don't use. That's the one regret. But Stink Pants likes the look of it. It's a nice looking plant with silver leaves, isn't mm. it? We just don't cook with it. It's really pungent, by the way. <laughs> Nature's lover said, nice technique to let others cook just by praising them. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been caught. <laughs> mm-hmm. You should also learn the, the good one from her and give her a little rest from cooking to make it 50-50. I didn't read that. I didn't see that. Look, I don't mind because sometimes Pudot, Pudot can cook just limited type of dish that and... is so not true oh really i'm a master chef oh really i just choose not to <laughs> uh, if you can just wash dishes better than you did <laughs> i'm happy to cook and you wash when i'm washing all the dishes all the time everything. <laughs> and putting them away i wash them my way uh... when i do that many dishes as what you know this is the problem having Plus, I help prepare Our food for you. enemy from Australia. They will keep saying, and this is not just me. Many of my people who knows, who have um, arc. What are you doing? <laughs> you know, the partner, partners, who's Aussie partner, keep saying, you know, they just don't rinse. They keep saying, give an excuse that, oh, you know, it's Australian and we uh, don't have enough water supply. That's right. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sting pants. <laughs> Family friendly. That's twice in one day. Twice in one day plus the other thing you did. Oh, my goodness. Stinky. This is what happens when we're so tired. You got no control at that point. Do you have pets? Yes, we've got one rat bag cat, which uh, is not even here at the moment. Mm-hmm. She's outside somewhere. She's a cat cat. I hope she she always look at the window. She does, doesn't she? Always stay on the chair next to the window like a tower. I, Observation tower. I do want to get her a little friend though. Time for a rabbit. Huh? Isn't that too late? Or a dog. She's already an adult two years or three already. Yeah, I've got to get her to calm down a bit. Do you have pets at all, nature's lover? And uh, when it comes to the, the food as well, who cooked last night? Me. Didn't mm-hmm. they? And you said it was delicious with my homemade recipe. Uh, uh-huh. I see that. Yeah. Do it often. That is the cat in the Instagram page, uh, Nature's Lover. She's appeared in a couple of videos as well, so obviously not the live streams, but uh, if you look at the the musical challenges videos, you can see when she was much younger, as a bit of a kitten, and also the channel members videos, she makes an appearance too, from memory. But uh, I haven't filmed her for a little while. She's big now. She is. She's fully grown. Well, I, I'd have to say she's not that big for a cat. She's got a small head and a big tail. Small-headed, big-tailed cat. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Just big like Mumsy. Small head. No, big head, small tail. That's what Stink Pants is. You've got the, the opposites there. I don't and, uh, have tail. What are you talking about? Nature's lover told me as well that we should be doing more with the Instagram page. And I kept mm-hmm. saying, that's on you. I don't even know how to use it properly. I can't even get into it now. As Leona says, Kitty trying to be a great protector to you, mate. That's a great ju- uh, pun. She is a protector, isn't she? But unfortunately, see, so here's the story. We've got two neighbours that have cats and they're both indoors cats so they just sit in the window all day long uh, and if they do go outside it's always with the owner Uh, with ours though we just let her when she was old enough we used to take her out on a leash and then after a while we we just let her roam around on her own so she could have freedom and there's a, a cat from across the road 
that used to come and visit when she was still a kitten. And they were okay with each other, but once once uh, our cat grew up, now they constantly fight. And I heard them this morning. It was the worst fight ever. Poor, poor rat bag. She was struggling. So when are we, we're taking her to the vet soon just to have her checked out. Because mm-hmm. I think she's not winning any of those fights. <laughs> It doesn't seem like she's winning any of them, isn't it? You got to find out what all of those bumps are. But I don't like that other cat. It always hisses. Even with humans, it'll hiss, isn't it? Some of the neighbours have tried to be friendly with it, and they say the same thing. They don't like it either. I want to ban that cat from the neighbourhood? You got any opinions on that, Stinky? You ban you both. Ban you too. Uh huh. <laughs> You're not too fussed if that happens, isn't it? Nah. Means you get the day off at home too. No more cooking for me. Or from you, I should say. But you do have to, on the note of stink pants cooking, you do have to tell her to go easy on certain ingredients. Otherwise, she goes overboard with them. Fish sauce. Do you put shrimp paste in anything that yeah. I eat? No, uh, that I eat. Uh, there was one that, yes, you would be more appreciate without, but there is one mince dish that you don't mind too much. I mean, you still can eat, you not enjoy it that much. And you put a lot less in it than you normally would? I can't remember. Yeah, probably. you probably didn't. Well, I don't stay in one place for long and used to travel a lot. Besides, I'm afraid of animals. Oh, that's no no good. It, there's some... Maybe if you meet a really docile one, nature's lover, there's some animals out there that are just really docile and uh, are quite happy to receive affection and they're, they're not going to do anything. Like, a, you know, maybe if you get a very tame rabbit that just sits there, doesn't do anything, does it? I... I think I watched a um, video before, can't remember, is the this lady afraid of dog, mm-hmm. but she end up a dog, a dog that's scared of human. Oh, really? Yeah. And so then they There was a up... dog that got bullied or something, yeah. so it's scared of the human. And when she saw it and she's like, oh, why I'm scared of this poor creature? Because we did so many bad things that they scared of us. <laughs> Mm. And they kind of adopt, adapt to each other and live happily. And did they end up being closer or was it yeah, a mutual... Yeah, they stay closer, I think. Like she'll pat the dog close? Uh, or... I didn't follow until that. <laughs> I can't remember now. It, this is quite a while ago I watched this thing. Mm. But yeah, it happened. So when you realize that... Um, the thing that you scare scare of you. Yeah, well, that's true too, isn't it? Oftentimes, oh. you've you've got uh, animals that are afraid of humans, and then if you end up building that relationship or rapport, it becomes a very good relationship. I've certainly met a, some dogs and cats like that in my life, and you just be be a bit patient with them and don't rush anything. Allow them to come to you rather than the other way around. Let's face it, the the rabbit that we had was like that. It had never really had human attention before us, did it? You reckon? No, it was, came from a, a hoarder's place. They rescued, the RSPCA rescued the rabbit from someone that was a hoarder. So, And I believe like a rabbit hoarder would be my understanding. So they wouldn't have time to pay attention to all of the the rabbits that they would have had they probably would have been roaming around doing nothing and she certainly you can tell the difference between a rabbit that's been used to being around people and one that hasn't and ours definitely hadn't but over time she just grew trust and then it was all about the love wasn't it Uh, many of my friends have pets but I'm always afraid to go near them Um, maybe if you sat there say 
could depend on what type of pet but if it's a cat or a dog usually if it's a cat and you ignore it it's going to come up to you anyway that's the nature of a cat and dogs will just come up to you generally speaking because they're friendly friendly little creatures and they like attention Mm. isn't it we're not talking about strays here we're talking about you know friends pets so yeah you know i'm not saying get out of your comfort zone and do things that you don't want to do uh nature's lover but you are missing out i'm an animal lover and a nature lover so you do isn't it you have no qualms about going up to animals you patted a crocodile a while ago didn't you that was a small one there it was still baby there. No, unfortunately, uh, Red December, our rabbit, passed away. Um, she didn't, when she was with us, she didn't live that long. It was only, what, three years or four years? Yes, apparently she is kind of old. Yeah, so that's the other thing that we don't know how old she was when we got her. And when she started getting sick and we took her to the vet, mm. I don't know, three, four times, they they did a lot of in, uh, investigating for lack of a better word and um, she apparently had scar tissue on her liver which was very common for rabbits oh, and not kidney oh kidney was it Maybe. I don't know they they said these are the things that often happen to rabbits and apparently our rabbit had all of it so yeah but she had a good life when she was with us that's for sure and she was she was an indoor rabbit we would let her out into the garden just to you know play and eat if she didn't really eat anything but um yeah and she lived in our bedroom so she had a good life but just unfortunate that uh she didn't live for a great deal of time but i'm sure she was happy while she was there Mm. isn't it it makes me want to to get another one but a baby you know because she was definitely fully grown when we got her and it looks like pretty old to begin with but no at least she had a good end part of her life Mm. isn't it we were both sad and we were hoping to get the the cat before she passed away isn't it that you're going to have best friends with the cat and the rabbit but Mm. then the cat probably would have been sad yeah rabbits make good pets as long as you (laughs) <laughs> good pet but messy ah. you know they just even though I think she was trained she was she still poop around everywhere no not every so everywhere this is, this is what and how, happens and how it's go underneath the carpet I yeah. don't get it <laughs> yeah but this is the thing she you're not talking like a poop 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 no poop. It's, it's one or two that might dribble out as opposed to like, it's still a lot though when it's accumulating. Exactly. If it accumulates, then it becomes more. But and you don't never, know because it's under the carpet. She, she what I'm saying is <laughs> when you when a rabbit poops, it poops. There's a pile of it there, right? Huh? Probably, but You've seen it. When, yeah, but that's a bit not not a pie too. Yeah, know? she never Like when that, it's when carving it, Dribbles out. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she might sneeze or something and a poop just flies out. That's that's how that works. Oh, uh, Clayton Gover is here. Hello, how are you? It's... If you are a neat person, rabbit is not for you. But the, 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 Unless you it... want it in the cage all the time, which is no, not great, right? You don't want to do that. But yeah, it's not because not only poopy, it's also when they eat. They don't like to eat anything in the bowl. They're gonna tip it over and they like to eat it on the floor. Yeah, but it d- happens all the time. Every rabbit I saw. Yeah, well, but it's that. I'm ah. here to defend. Defend what? I'm here to defend all rabbits. So, number one, you saw whenever the rabbit needed to poop, it would go to its poop tray. It was house trained. Not once did it pee on the floor. Huh? It never peed You're on the sure? floor. Never. Never sure. peed on the floor. Always in the pee tray. Pee tray. No, pee tray, poop tray, same thing. <laughs> and you never saw a pile of poo on the floor. So it never pooped on the floor. 
but it had just, you know, it had, it had rabbits. They'd shoot one out every now and again for, for whatever reason. It doesn't mean to do it. It just shoots one out, right? Now, the good thing is the poo doesn't stink and it's pretty easy to clean up. So there's that. Then when it comes to the food, well, you know, we had the tray, we had the cage that was always open. So her food, even if she spilt it on the ground, the ground was the cage. So that was fine. There was no mess. That's what I'm mess. saying about that. Uh, Clayton's saying I might know know them. I'm not sure if you've changed the the uh, YouTube name or not, because that often happens. So I might. You tell me if that is the case. Uh, do rabbits go to the regular vet? So they can, but we actually took her to a specialist uh, rabbit clinic where they had at least four vets that were experts in rabbit care. So this is how we learnt about all of the stuff that can happen to a rabbit. Uh, so that's that one. Hey man, it would... Not be a good idea for any rabbits to be near it. my dogs, yes. I've heard Red December's dogs are very good at catching rabbits. Uh, gotta go to breakfast is ready. Good talking with you guys. Enjoy your breakfast there, nature's lover. We'll have a chat in the clan again, I'm sure. Uh, and have a good breakfast. Yep. Have a good one. Bye. And there you go. As Liana is agreeing with uh, you, Stink Pants, saying correct, they don't prefer eating in the bowl. Yep, see. But I'm saying you put the bowl in the cage. Yeah, it's still tip it over. Yeah, but then it's not that much of a mess. It's the mess. It's that still the, a mess. It's the mess that the rabbit's going to eat up. They is what not I'm saying. always eat up. Come on. I clean it. I, I know it. Okay. And you should know too. Oh, are you telling me you didn't clean it? That's why you put the paper... That's why you said that. You put the paper down there. You put the paper down there to absorb it, you know, all of the mess and you just roll it up and put fresh paper. That rabbit was house trained. It was. It could do tricks, couldn't it? <sighs> Next rabbit, if you really want... You clean the tray. No, no, no. You clean both, the whole cage. We got to do it both together. Nope. But you get a. This time we got to try and get a kit, a younger one. But the problem is we only want the one breed, isn't it? I don't want any other rabbit breed except. Why? For it. Because a Rex rabbit is like sleeping on a pillow of cloud. It's so soft. If you've ever touched a Rex rabbit, they're absolutely gorgeous to to pat. It's the softest thing I've ever touched. And uh, still waiting on a response from Clayton Gobra as to where I might know them from. Because their name looks new to the stream, but having said that, you know, old Uncle poodot has got a terrible memory. I have to see you a few times before I can remember who everyone is. Uh, unless you do something extra special, like Red December becoming a channel member, then it's instant memory for that. I don't know why. Uh, you said a comment on a random... Oh, okay. So, yeah, what often happens is I'll just leave a comment on some video. I can't even remember what they are. They could be anything. I've got wide taste when it, when it comes to seeing things on YouTube. And then if someone replies to me, I'll go and check them out. If they don't have any videos, I'll say to them, thank you. Thank you for replying to a comment that we left somewhere. So thank you for joining the stream. I wasn't sure if that worked very well, but we have met some people online that way. There's a, a few that we've met that um, I've left a, a similar sort of comment saying, hey, thanks for replying. Because, you know, they're good people. That's the thing. Sometimes you get the nasty comments and I ignore those. And then when they're the good ones, I'll go and say hello. So welcome to the... This is... Everyone that's in this stream pretty much knows that they're part of the DLG. But that's what we call you guys. The DLG. Dirty Laundry Gang. With Poodot and Stink Pants. I let it out again, didn't I, Stinky? It's a secret. So you can't tell anyone if they ask. they got to find out for themselves. And uh, we like asking where you're from and what time is it there. You don't have to answer any questions that are too personal. It's up to the individual there. We encourage you not to divulge, you know, 
personal information, but always curious to know uh, just the country, location and time. That's my personal thing. Isn't it stinky? Mm-hmm. Just because we, we're in a place where generally it's hard for people to watch us. So we get excited when, when uh, anyone joins the live stream. Isn't it stinky? Mm. Well, what else you got there? Because, again, I'm about chatted out there talking about rabbits and Mandela effect and the Kikado avocado at the start. Uh, in my city, they have rabbit officers that work with the police to smell out houses with... Really? No, hang on. They have rabbit officers. As in, you actually have rabbits doing that job? Dogs I've heard of. Rabbits I've never heard of. Can you imagine that, Stinky? That'd be awesome. How about getting a dog? They're great too. I have one dog, GSD, and one cat, Ginger Tabby. What's a GSD? And also our deepest condolences for your uh, dog that passed away before Christmas. So it's very sad when you lose a pet. We get very sad. Isn't it? I've lost a few pets. Well, being an old man now, I've lost a few pets over the years. And yeah, we've um, we have been talking about getting a dog. Uh, they are a lot bigger commitment, which is probably why we've put it off for the time being. But we'll see how it goes. We're we're almost at the point where we might be expanding the family. And uh, Clayton's, oh, lives in Texas and it's 9.26, I'm guessing, p.m. there. Ah. As opposed to a.m., which is okay. America must have a lot of different time zones. Yeah. Isn't it? It's a big country. It's wider, too, you know, compared to here. So what would be the, because if you look at Western Australia and the East Coast, what's that, a three or a four hour difference? And that's the maximum for us. There's no no greater... I think it's three hours non-daylight savings and four hours daylight savings or the other way around. Nah. But it seems like America's even bigger than that. Yeah, it's wider, I said. Therefore, their ways and ease are quite different. So what would be the extreme in the time there, east to west coast? How many hours difference? Google. You know I don't know what Google is. I know that you are lazy. Yeah, I agree with Asli Hana. Have you ever heard of a rabbit officer that goes around sniffing for things? No. I can't say the words, but you've heard of dogs doing it, right? Yeah. But rabbits I've never heard of either. That'd be so cool to see. I think that'd be very cute. Even more so if they put a little tiny rabbit uniform on them. Huh. A little police officer uniform on the rabbit. Which they're not going to do. But uh, I find that amazing myself. They must have a very keen sense of smell. Isn't it? Unlike you, Stinky. That's why you've got the name Stinky. No keen sense of smell. That's why I've got to work up a sweat all the time. So you know where I am. Sniff this. No thanks. <laughs> I got nothing. So how are things in uh, Texas at the moment, Clayton? Uh, have you got the... Oh, I've got to be careful how I say these words. Have you got the... the? Uh, I think I can say lockdown. I've said it before. Already restrictions, for lack of a better word. We can't say the actual thing, but... Uh, just so that you understand the terminology, we will say cough, cough, because uh, we do often get um, all. So we do try to keep things family friendly, Clayton, so I can't release that message. Although Stink Pants has made a couple of mistakes today in her tiredness, but uh, yeah, we just try not to use that kind of language. But. Um, I will check it out. Let's just say that. So the rabbits have special uniforms. They do have a special uniform with a leash. Uh, I'm going to have to Google this to see it. You say that. You never no, done. I'm going to have to do it now just because I'm curious. Rabbit. Can I say rabbit police officers? 
Just bear with me. And then hopefully some images will pop up as well. Hmm. I'm not gonna get this one today. <laughs> oh no, that's all right, uh, Clayton Gaber. Um, oh gee, I just had a. Come on, pet. Toxic chim. Stinky. What? I'm having a brain aneurysm at the moment. Huh? So, I don't know, I'm just that tired. That, it's um, not brain aneurysm. What are you talking about? I can't think of what it was I was about to say. Uh, so, no, that's all right, uh, Clayton Gaber. Just, yeah, we do try to keep things family friendly just because there are young people that join the streams. Um, Jess, oh, German Shepherd Dog, I gotcha. Kira Rio is my late Doberman, so you've got some guard dogs on your hands there, isn't it? You don't mind the German Shepherd, do you? See, I wouldn't mind dogs like that, whether it's a Doberman I or... I actually like the Australian Shepherd dog, but it's just too active that I yeah. can't keep up. But, you know, the appearance, I like that. Mm. Mm. Are you talking about the Kelpie or the Blue Healer? Uh, I'm not sure. You want me to Google? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're very, very intelligent dogs. Apparently, the Blue Healer is the most intelligent dog on the planet. But they're also, you know, farm dogs. So you, you got to be... I have seen them in the city and people that have trained them very well, but you do have to be very good at uh, owning a dog like that if you're not on a farm. Uh, the links probably won't work, Clayton, so I'll check it out anyway. I'll have a look myself because uh, just so that you're aware, when it comes to try not to say anything about your channels during the streams because for whatever reason, it seems whenever that happens, we get the yellow symbol. I can't even say the word because that gives us the yellow symbol. Um, and, yeah, I guess it's because YouTube looks at it as... Uh, doing, well, I can't even say that. Oh. All of these things get me into trouble. Oh, what? Uh, uh. You'll understand why over time if you keep joining the streams. That, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll help you, but if you try and do it yourself, that ends up getting us into trouble. So uh, try not to do that. Uh, both of them are guard dogs. There you go. Stardust and Moon Shadow, Afghan Hounds and Lyrics is a poodle mix. Well, Lyric is a poodle mix. Mixed with what? By the way, one of my friends uh, has a poodle mixed with a Labrador called a Labradoodle. Oh, yeah, I have heard. They have the softest uh, coat to them as well. Well, his dog does anyway. It's very soft to the touch, almost like the rabbit. It's crazy. Uh, I just Google it about... They do exist. So I was uh, waiting for the Google to load up. Oh, there, there's the uniform too, Stinky. My goodness. I've got to say, where Red December lives, they're extremely progressive. They they seem to allow, uh, do lots of things. Look, Stinky. Oh! Unbelievable. But isn't that just, is it? Is it real? Yeah, it's police? real. Police? No, it's an actual police rabbit. For for sniff what? Well, I can't say the word, but, you know, it's sniffing... Can I say narcotics? Okay. I'll say that once. Oh. Why, why rabbit? Why why not dog? This yeah, one? well, that's... I'm curious to know that as well, Red December. Why rabbit and not dog? Is and it, it better? Look, there's another one, Officer Judy. Unbelievable. I'm just blown away by that, to be honest. And there's a... Look, there's a whole heap of them there. Oh, I'd love to be. Imagine being a... Can you train? <laughs> Can you really train? Rabbits are smarter than a lot of people think. They, they uh, have... They're very good at doing tricks. So you should be able to train them to do stuff as well. 
anything is better than this rat bag, I guess. Our rat, what, you mean our rat bag the cat or our rat bag the rabbit? Rat bag the cat! <laughs> she does tricks when there's food involved. She can food shake your hand. Yeah. all the time. She'll shake your hand. That's what you need. I wonder how they do do that though. How would you train a rabbit to do that? That's incredible. I want to see it. I want to become a police officer so I can be in charge of one of them. So I'm on the rabbit squad. And uh, yeah, there you go. As Liana's also saying that they're curious, why a rabbit? Well, you, number one, you'd have to think very it's, good sense of smell. Yeah, and probably maybe easier to take care of, like it's smaller than a dog. Yeah, more cost effective for the department, maybe. But that's, that's the reason. I'm just wondering, is it really? Oh, also, being able to get into smaller spaces, maybe. You know, oh. getting under houses and whatnot. Oh, probably. Okay. We're just making things up at this point, but it all sounds pretty uh, viable, doesn't it? Mm. Or digging, maybe they can sniff things. Well, this is not true. I was going to say, maybe they can sniff things underground better than dogs, but you've got those truffle dogs that can sniff out truffles. But then again, they actually prefer to use pigs. A, a truffle sniffing pig is better than a truffle sniffing dog. But you got to be get on it fast. Did you know that stink? Yep. Before oh, it eats it. Before it eats it. <laughs> so you did know. Yeah, why do you think <laughs> they find it for us? No way, fight for themselves. Well, I thought that's what you train the pig to do. That's not what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't think that there's a way that uh, you can uh, that you can have uh, a pig learn to do food excavating without wanting to eat it. Uh, it's a pig. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently pigs are smarter than dogs. So where do you draw the line? How do you know it's smarter than? This is what they say on YouTube. They say. <laughs> Good research there. Yeah, that's my YouTube research. Pigs are smarter than dogs. Oh my God. Well, maybe it's good. Do you, can you believe what's on Google as well? No. Because I'll say, are pigs smarter than dogs? And then the answer says, yes. No, you... It's not reliable. <laughs> Sauce. UK, UK also used the same thing. Wow, is it a thing now? Hang on, are we talking about pigs sniffing truffles? Or are we talking about rabbits working on the police force? I do find this incredible. It's a pity our nature's lover went and had breakfast. Maybe it'd make her a bit more likely to, to pat an animal. What do you think, Stink? It makes me want to train a rabbit now. You know that. Are you going to go to the RSPCA after this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you got to go on a regular basis. Help those poor animals out. If it wasn't for you, you wouldn't have that rat bag cat that we've got, is it? That's all thanks to you. Thanks, Stinky. No worries. Oh, so rabbit as well. There you go. Uh, you don't have to answer this uh, as Liana, but are you from the UK as well? Or that's just something that um, you discovered whilst doing your Google searches? Because I find it uh, very unique. I wonder if it'll come here one day. I'd like to see that. Little rabbit officers. Don't you think, Stinky? Mm-hmm. It's cute. Oh, it's a pig sniffing truffle you haven't heard of. Yes. So you've got truffle hunters. There are human people that do it that I guess just have a feeling that or a sense of where they can find truffles. Then you've got dogs that have been trained to, to do it as well. But pretty much all truffle hunters say that the pig sniffing pig Truffle sniffing pigs are the best. 
Yep. They are 100% the most effective at finding truffles. Yep, food motivation yep. works. <laughs> but you gotta, you got to be on it because they'll eat your, your profits before you even get to see them. So I don't know. I guess like as soon as they start digging, you got to pull them away, isn't it? And uh, from memory, I saw at least one video where they said we have to reward them with one truffle at least. Oosh. To keep them motivated to do it. See? See? <laughs> What's going on? Why I'm stuck. But it's a, like you were saying, it's a pig. You could just feed it mushrooms. Who cares? Pigs eat almost anything? Or is that just a myth? That maybe they don't. You got no answer for that stinky? Too beefy. Right, we got to get a pig now. No. <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as those teacup ones or the little miniature pigs that the people got on that craze for a little while there saying, oh, you can get little pigs now, they're so cute, but they're actually not. There, there are they small breeds of... They were cute for a while. Yeah, until they started eating and grew up. Uh, although you can get... Um, what do you call it? So pigs from countries where it's it's not really a pig in the traditional, you know, farming sense of what a pig looks like. They're more like a capa. Is it called a capoeira? That looks like a huge guinea pig, but it's actually a pig, sort of. Have you seen those? No. Nope. Looks like a giant rat. Giant, giant and rat. A giant guinea pig. More like a guinea pig than a rat. There you go. We'll train guinea pigs. Now, you said you're tired. Now you're talkative. Oh, and no. we almost like two hours. You know that? Oh, did we manage to do that? Not yet, but getting there. I'm surprised. I didn't think I had it in me today. Well, now Is stop it? silence. Yeah, as soon as you said that, I'm like, ah, uh, tired now. So I'd say, uh, Clayton, good luck with that. Again, uh, yeah, if you can find the right niche, that is good. I've come across a few horror channels in my time. I don't mind watching those, mm. isn't it? We have something planned for that ourselves, don't we? Mm. So we might end up... Uh, Stopping the stream now just because we are close enough to the two hours. Yeah. Or are you still happy to go for a couple more rounds there? Uh, this will be my last one. Yeah? Okay. I can't believe we actually went for that long. I honestly didn't think I'd be able to keep it up. But as Liana, Clayton, uh, Gupla, Aesthetic Ocean, Red December, they're the ones that have kept it going for us, isn't it? If it was just me, I would have stopped an hour ago. Animals are amazing, aren't they? You can get them to do all kinds of things. We were talking about the, the working elephants in the last stream, weren't we? Mm. Horses have long been used by humankind. Help with farming and travelling and this sort of thing. Can you tell me any funny or unique ones like that? I don't think uh, we can outdo Red December with a rabbit at the moment. <laughs> Can you come up with any others where it's like, oh, an animal's been trained to do this? You got the dolphins that have been trained by the Marines, the military or Navy, I should say, mm. where they do uh, detect mines and things like that. Uh huh. Which is a, I don't know if I kind of agree with that. It's kind of dangerous. Mm. You know, poor dolphin is what I'm saying. Right. I can't think of anything at the moment anyway. So... Hmm. Camels for travelling and carrying stuff. Uh-huh. But I want more unique than that. Like what? Like a rabbit. Uh, <laughs> that is unique. <laughs> usually, like in my region, like Southeast Asia, we use buffalo. Oh, yeah, you do. I've seen for, that. For farming. I have seen the buffaloes used for farming. Because they are smarter than a cow. 
They say. Mm. So they say. Fair enough. But that's about it. I can't remember what else. I'm surprised an octopus hasn't been trained for something yet. Oh, it has. There was one octopus that do the what do you call, like a meeting, future reading. <laughs> In the past, there was one octopus that was kind of famous for, like, predict what's the end of this football game. <laughs> 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 All right, that's bordering on ridiculous. <laughs> yep, exactly right. And do you do you think it was actually trained, or it's just like flopping its tentacles everywhere instead of that it, one? It wasn't trained for sure. It's just you know, and it was, just happened to be right most of the time. It, it just happened to be right. I don't know most of the time or not, but it's got famous for that. But this is years ago. Like I can't remember how long exactly. But long time ago, <laughs> any more prediction? That's right. Oh, Kane's made an appearance at the end of the stream. I'm not a true DLG. I don't stay in the streams long enough like I used to. Yeah, what happened, Kane? He used to be the 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 heart and the soul of the streams with his chit chat. Now he's been rather quiet. He comes at the start, disappears. Comes at the end, disappears. Well, at least you still show up. Thank you, Kane. Yeah, well, that's right. Maybe he doesn't like me challenging him to all of the tapatio eating and uh. the chili eating. Uh. All right, so DLG, thank you for making the stream entertaining for us. Yep, and happy Lunar New Year. Oh, yeah. It's happy Lunar. Do you say Lunar? Because you shouldn't say that's Chinese, really. Isn't well, it? Um, and a happy I Valentine's Day as well. <laughs> Okay, happy Valentine, Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, all at once. And I'm done. All right, now I'm done too, Stinky. You guys have a fantastic weekend week. Uh, we'll 